Today I'm standing in front of our MH fluid cooler. This is essentially a hybrid cooling tower which combines your traditional fluid cooler components with a more traditional open tower cooling, cooling system. So what you're seeing here is a bottom module and a top module that comprise the fluid cooler. The bottom module has coils similar to what you'd find in the traditional fluid cooler. The top module has cross-flow fill like you would find in our NC cross-flow cooling tower. The way it works when you combine these two is you start with your circulating water at the top of the tower, bring it down through your cross-flow fill using evaporative cooling to cool that water. At that point, it enters an intermediate basin at the top of the bottom section. And now this water is pre-cooled, so we have more driving force to pull heat through heat transfer off of the coils in the bottom section. So as that water comes down and pulls heat off of the coils, we then recirculate that water back up to the top and, uh, and start the process over again. Meanwhile, the process fluid stays clean uh, as it goes through the tower and back into the, the process. So I'm standing inside the lower plenum of the MHF fluid cooler. You can see we have some standard components like the low level liquid switch and the uh, mechanical makeup valve. Those are cover covered in more detail in other modules. Uh, but this is where you would come in. These are the eliminators uh, as the, for the airflow coming across the coils. These eliminators can be removed to have access to the coil section within the bottom of the tower. As the water comes through the coil section, it's gonna flow into the basin, it's gonna move down to the recirculating pump, which is under this section right here. I'm standing outside the bottom module of the MHF fluid cooler. You can see here we have the inlet, which would be the hot water uh, process piping coming in, connections for that. Outlet, which is the cold or cooled Fluid, process fluid coming back out of the, the piece of equipment. We also have here the recirculating water pump. So as I mentioned when we were inside the plenum, as the recirculating water comes down over the coils, it flows to this corner of the uh, basin and is then pumped back up to the top of the tower. 